Okay, so this is going to be the second video I've made today. Um, Probably saw the video I uploaded earlier of this Kida K-N-C-O-P-E-I-C, -E except that's not for my collection. That's to install in our new house. But um, in this video, I do have an alarm that I have recently added to my collection, and it is this. This is the... Black & Decker Flame Buster SMK60M3. Um, I did an unboxing of it uh, earlier, but some technical issues some technical issues made the video not very good. Um, the battery in it was extremely corroded, um, and I don't know, it just wasn't a very good video. So I'm remaking it now. So here's the alarm. This is the one that has the test button sort of in the center, unlike this one that I have, which you probably saw in my video. This, this is the SMK60M1. This one's basically a direct rebrand of the GE Home Centuries. Um, it has the test button over here, unlike this one, which where it has it in the center. So, um, yeah. Now, there are some other differences um, between these two. Now, this one here, there's a little hole on the cover, and if I open it up here, the test button is actually connected to the center, and the hole just sort of, you know, goes down onto the test button like that, and, you know, you can push down. On, now, on this one, it's a little bit different. If we open it up here, and as you can see, the, the rest of the circuitry is a little different, too. Um, the test button's actually part of the cover, and it pushes down on this little tab right here. Now I'll compare the insides of them one more time. You can see the sensors, the sensors are a little different. This one is sort of the black plastic slotted sensor and this one, this one's also a black plastic sensor but the design of it's a little different. Um, has these really really tiny holes. Um, so yeah and you can see you know this part here, like the actual board, kind of looks a little different as well. So, um, yeah. Now, the horns are exactly the same. This one has, they, they both have the trumpet style piezo. So, um, yeah, now this one's actually kind of a rare variant. And I will show you why. If I lift this battery up, hang on a minute. You can see that this one actually has a battery flag. Yep, it has a battery flag. The thing's pretty crusty um, because the battery exploded all over it and I can't really clean it. Like, I really, I was like really trying hard to clean it and all the crust just would not come off. So, um, yeah, it has a battery flag. That's, I thought that was pretty cool. Here's the box for it, by the way. You can see the style's a little different than the, uh, M1's box, which I can't really show you at the moment because it's in storage. Um, so, yeah, it was sealed in its box when I got it, by the way. So, yeah, you can see a clear shot of the detector right there. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you the rest of the box here. You can pause that if you want to read it. Which I don't know why you would. Oh, that's just the price tag and everything. I think that might be the same. I'm not sure. Well, you can read that too. So, um, yeah. It also came with, of course, the manual, which we'll look at in a bit. And a packet of screws. So, yeah. It did come with its original battery, and like I said, the thing was extremely corroded. Probably one of the worst corroded batteries I've ever sort of encountered. Um, couldn't really find any sort of a date on it, but um, I do know these were made from around the mid to late 80s. Some were made in the very early 80s, um, but for the most part, they were made from the mid to late 80s. Um, Alright, now moving on to everybody's favorite part, the test. So, um, yeah, and by the way, I, I forgot to mention this, um, uh, with this one, this, it sort of has like a half-closed grill, and the other side, of the, the other half of the grill is kind of open. There is a version of this with a 
completely open grill. I know VIC Nasty 1989 has one of those. Um, so, um, yeah, which you've probably seen his video. Um, so, uh, yeah. Now, most most of these I've heard do 4-6. This one actually does more of a 5-6, which I'll let you hear right now. Yeah, that's actually, I'm not sure if you, you can really tell, but that's a lot more of a 5-6 than, than these usually have. Mostly they, they, mostly they do more of a 4-6. Um, now, there are some extremely rare versions of this that actually do the sort of the, the, the really fast warble that the, uh, GEs you, that the GEs had. A lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of really rare, or some really rare versions did that. So, um, yeah, which if you, if you want to hear what that one sounds, if you want to hear what the GE Warble sounds, that's the GE Warble. Um, so, uh, yeah, pretty much any alarm with this style, even the Black and Decker ones do the GE Warble. And, um, I forgot to mention the ones that look like this that do the GE Warble are also labeled SMK 60M1 for some reason. So... I don't know. Maybe that factor determines the two model numbers. I don't know. Maybe it's not just the test button in the middle. Maybe it's that factor as well. But um, I'm not totally sure. Um, figure I'll show you the manual too because that's been kind of a trend lately. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Oh, and I didn't see this. This is a um, warranty registration card. Yeah, it's a warranty registration card, so if you really want to read this for some reason, you can pause it. Yeah, but I don't know, I don't know why anyone would want, to, would want to read that, but I paused it anyway. So, let's go ahead and look at the manual, shall we? Manual's actually pretty long, so... Uh, if you want to read a part of it, you can pause it. This part's pretty much blank. These were made in Ireland, by the way. And uh, apparently they were made by EI Electronics. I'm not sure if I said that. Okay, so I guess 1988. So this was from the late 80s. I guess 1988 is the date of it. Ugh. Sorry. And then, of course, there's the inside of it. Does this one show the battery flag on it? I mean, it kind of shows the battery flag, but it doesn't really acknowledge that it's there. Hmm, I don't know. All right, well, there you go. That is the Black & Decker Flame Buster SMK 60M3. And sort of a comparison between it and the 60M1.